What is up guys? My name is Warren So. In this tutorial, I'm going to create a table with search filter in a React application. If you are new to my YouTube channel, please click the subscribe button below. Okay, let's get started. I have created a React application. Now let's create our component. So, go inside the source folder and we are going to create a new folder and name it components. So, new folder components now let's create our component and name it filter table okay i have already installed two useful vs code extensions one is symbol react snippet and other one is auto import so click this icon and search symbol react snippet this one and install it again search auto import click this one and install it those two snippets are already installed on my vs code so go to search table jsx and type sfc which means stateless functional component and press enter and name it search table for now just return a div now i'm going to get dummy data from a json file and going to show that data in a table so that open up your browser and go to mocaro.com here you can create dummy data so i need id i need first name i need last name and email and gender if you want anything you can add another field so i don't need ip address so i am going to delete that here i want just 100 records just change it to 100 so select the format to json and it should be an array and i don't want any null values so i'm going to uncheck this then download this file and drag it and drop it inside the source here you can see our json file so all the records are inside an array now go to filter table and i'm going to import it so import let's say mock data from mock data so inside the div, I'm going to create a table. So table, inside it, t head, then tr, table row, then for th. Copy it and test it three times. First, we are going to display first name, then last name, then email, and gender. Then create a t-body, some mock data, dot map, let's say m, and we are going to return table row with four table data. So, table row, let's give a key, so key, so we can use ids, it's unique, so m dot id. Then we are going to create td, so td and copy it paste it three times first we are going to show the first name so m dot first name then last name then email then the gender now go to app.js and clean up this code let's call the component here so search table you can notice that search table is automatically imported because we installed auto import extinction earlier okay save it and let's run the app so open up your terminal and npm start okay now let's give some design for the design i'm going to use bootstrap so on the new tab search bootstrap cdn link 
click the first link and in the CSS you can find this just copy this go back to VS code go to public open index.html and paste it in the head so I am going to paste it under title save it now go to your component and for the div give a class name container for the table table and table bordered and in the t head say t head dark save it let's check the design much better okay now we need a text input on the top of the table so go back to vs code create an input type is text give a placeholder let's say search save it let's check the design yeah you can find the text input and we need to give some design so go back I'm going to give class name so the bootstrap class name is form control now I'm going to give inline CSS so style margin top let's say 50 in the margin bottom uh, let's say 20 let's give up width 40 percent it's much better now now we are going to get the input value and we are going to store it in state so we need state so we need to use use state so import it use state from react use state let's say search term and the initial value is empty string so here we are going to set our state so on change an arrow function we are going to pass events so we are going to set the state so set search term so pass a parameter e dot target dot value so now come back to table body here we are going to filter it before mapping it right so there's a function called filter so filter the arrow function we are going to pass the value so value if the system is empty string we have to return all the value so if system is equal to empty string we should return all the value so return all the value else if we are going to filter it by first name or last name or email so value that first name we are going to change it to lowercase so dot to lowercase the includes search term dot to lowercase so here it's going to check the condition if first name has the search term we need to return that value so here return value also we are going to check our last name and email so copy this or press enter paste it and you have to change it to last name or paste it change it to email so here it's going to check our first name with our search term also it's going to check with last name and email okay now let's check our application now let's filter it by first name so let's type Zillana you can now filter it from first name let's try with last name let's type Nelson the last name is working also let's check with email so let's try Alipet yeah it's working fine okay guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and if you have any doubts please write down in the comment section thank you guys see you in the next tutorial